When Marika Saunders heard about the shooting just over the border two weeks ago, she says she didn't just want to sit back and do nothing. I wanted to do this because I wanted to awaken my own heart and instead of shutting down to what happened, I wanted to awaken the empathy that I naturally have and really like dive into this feeling of like compassion for what happened in Buffalo and not just kind of sit idly aside and not do anything or say anything because it's so easy to do that nowadays. So she organized a rally, a small group of people who marched along the Niagara Boulevard in Fort Erie overlooking Buffalo in the background. But I really wanted to be about these lives who were black to be recognized, acknowledged. 10 people were shot and killed two weeks ago at a supermarket in Buffalo. Authorities say the 18 year old man who is accused was motivated by hate. 11 of the 13 people who were shot by the white man at the Tops Market were black. Fort Erie is really connected to Buffalo on many different levels. Not only is it just a five minute drive over the Peace Bridge, but a lot of people in Fort Erie work in the States and they have friends and family over there. Sadness that has, has hit over here in Fort Erie because we're so close to hear about the loss, like just going to the supermarket and not knowing that these things are going to happen. And it's just um, heartbreaking. Dan and Deb, who are American but now live in Hamilton, heard about the rally and drove an hour to take part. I just feel like it's time to say enough. And I've got to figure out what to do because I'm really tired of all of what I read about in the United States. Um, we just wanted to do what we can do to make people more aware and, and try and get people to uh, try and make changes and encourage their governments to make changes. The group marched along the Niagara Boulevard and under the Peace Bridge, getting support along the way, all while thinking of the lives lost. I didn't want to shut down. I didn't want to say, okay, another shooting, but that doesn't affect me. Buffalo police say the shooting was a racist hate crime. The 18-year-old man has been charged with first-degree murder, but he could be facing many more charges. Sean Cowan, CHCH News.